do I, the writer and the reader, care about and understand the main protagonist? Very often when I go through my own work, I realise I thought I knew why everybody did whatever they did, but I haven't said so. And any reader's going to say, well, why did you do that? Why didn't you do something else? The reader needs to understand or it doesn't make sense. This happened and then that happened and then that happened is not a story. This happened which made that happen, so therefore I had to do so and so, and that happened. That's a story. And you have to feel the urgency, the impetus and the movement behind it all the time. Maybe like wave after wave of an incoming tide, everyone just a little deeper. If we don't understand the main protagonist and antagonist, if there is one, I mean, there might not be, you might be facing a natural disaster like an earthquake, but do we understand why the earthquake is going to go on and on and on until it's shaken everything to the floor? Do we understand why the antagonist is locked in this battle? What they want and why they want it. You don't need to know from the beginning, but you do need to learn bit by bit so that their actions make sense and you see that you're the movable force meeting, I'm sorry, the irresistible force meeting the immovable object. And then you know that the clash is going to be until one wins and one loses. Or possibly they both lose. That can happen too. Are they worthy of each other, these two? Because nobody wants to watch a battle between a giant and a dwarf. They've got to both be giants, each of them clever, quick thinking, and passionate about what it is they want. And we need to know why, or else it doesn't make any sense. The minute you can see the wheels moving instead of the drama, the minute you hear the writer's voice instead of the voices of the characters, you've lost the magic. So always understand why everybody does whatever they do. Don't explain it in great detail unless it's necessary, but let us know. When I get critical comments, and I mean critical in the sense of helpful telling me what needs to be improved from my agent, frequently it's, why does this person do this? And I would like to say, I realize it's because I knew but didn't put it in, but usually it's because I didn't know. Then I have to find a reason for them and put it in. Do the main characters all have an arc of development? Because nothing is static. Usually we know very well what the hero or heroine is going to do, how they're going to change, what great discoveries they're going to make, what victories, what defeats they're going to have to overcome. We possibly know the same about the antagonist, but nobody stands still. I know when I first started writing mysteries, that very often I would follow the detective and you don't know who the villain is, that's how it's a mystery. But I would have the rest of my characters being fairly static, not changing very much. Well, if there's been a crime, a serious one, everybody is affected. Everybody's going to change a little bit, at least. Some of them are going to change a lot. And think how they might change. They might become very fearful. They might stay at home and cease going out or having involvement in, in social things. They might suspect that everybody thinks that they are involved. They might become thoroughly paranoid. Or they might go out and try and solve it themselves and cause all kinds of chaos. But nobody is going to just sit there and wait whilst you follow the hero and possibly the antagonist. Everybody's going to have reactions. It's a constantly moving scene. And that's what makes it difficult for anybody to keep their balance. And it's the struggling to keep your balance, the falling over, the getting up again, the helping each other or tripping each other up that make the story. But everybody is changed by dramatic events. And you don't give them all equal importance, but just little things that the hero will notice. This person or that person is not the same anymore. And you realise that this is a catastrophic event that has affected the lives of many, many people. Maybe even some for the good. Perhaps if somebody's lost someone they love, you're going to look at them and value the people you love and realise you haven't got any number of times to say, I love you, 
I'm grateful to you. I care about you. I like you. I enjoy your presence. I'm aware of what you've given to me. And that could strengthen some people. Other people could withdraw and become suspicious or afraid. But everybody's going to have some sort of a reaction. Now, there may just be small things. But have you got a character, for example, who appears in chapters one through five and then suddenly doesn't ever appear again? Not for a good reason, just because you forgot about them. I've done that. I thought somebody was going to be a really interesting character and I've written three chapters and never mentioned them. Something's wrong. You've got to go back and either take them out altogether or find them something to do. So often I've come across my agent's notes and on the side margin she will say, this character isn't doing anything. Why do they exist in the story? And either I have to take them out and realise that I don't know them well enough I don't care about them enough. They're not actually part of the story. Take them out and give the little bits that they did to somebody else. Or make something happen. Make them important. And so that it looks natural. Not as if I've suddenly decided to fix it. Because readers aren't stupid. They pick up on that quite easily.